Hi, Fee. Hi, Fee. Hi, Fee. Which is just um, a little surprise. Oh. Got you here. You've got you here. You've got you here. You've got you here. You've got you here. Hello. 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 The trouble is you'll never trust them again after this, will you? I don't, I don't know about that. <laughs> <laughs> but the reason that you are here is, uh, I'm delighted to tell you that you've been nominated by, by one of your colleagues. Yes. And you are the winner of the Nurturing Award um, from an NUH Awards oh. um, side of things. Um, and if I can just read out a little bit of the nomination, yes. um, then hopefully you will understand why, amongst all the nominations we get, and we do get a lot, you are the person this month uh, uh, who has, has won this award. Oh, okay. um, and it's a long nomination, so I won't read the whole thing out, but um, the bit that, uh, that, it's, that it finishes with is, is V should win this award because he embodies the values of the trust and there could be no, no better ambassador for the value of nurturing. He genuinely cares for all the members of the team and will go out of his way to make anyone's day better, from the youngest to the oldest patient and from porter to consultant. There is no one in children's ED who would not immediately feel more positive knowing that he is on shift. And it was Chris who finally wrote uh, these words, but the, the, the theme that really comes through all of this is that when people know that you're on shift, they know it's going to be a better day than if you weren't there because of the happiness and the can-do attitude and the spirit that you bring to the department. So a really big thank you for me on behalf of the, from me on behalf of the organisation for everything that you offer our patients and the care and from all of your colleagues, because I think just hearing people talk about you before you've come in the room now, you mean a lot to people. You. And you change lives on a day-by-day -day basis, including those of your colleagues. And I'm absolutely delighted. There's a couple of things in here to give you. So the first is your uh, your certificate for your Nursery <laughs> Award winner. And also in here, a, uh, a, a badge and a lanyard, which you give to each of the winners to wear. So that when people see them around the organisation, they will know that you have uh, an exceptional colleague who's been... Uh, nominated and one of one of one of our awards so thank you for everything you do thank you and please um take these as appreciation of, of who you are and what you mean to all of your colleagues and to us as an organization thank you i'm not expected to do it <laughs> <I'm nothing prepared. laughs> honestly i don't know what to say so thank you very much for this award um, Get back to work. <laughs> <laughs> it was the humble. Like, you really deserve it, mate. No, honestly. Absolutely. Like, couldn't think. I, literally, we know. Sort of like you are the most positive person I have ever come into contact with, um, and you're always giving positive and sort of like guiding words whenever you're on shift, you. even though it might be sort of almost hell on earth. <laughs> you are still somebody <laughs> that is like sees the brighter side in everything. Yes. And, you know, if it can't be fixed by that, it's fixed by a cup of tea, isn't it, Pete? It is, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's a little sweet. Yeah. It really seems that we need to, to bottle whatever it you, you've oh, got. Oh, honestly. What, what, what's the secret to it, Pete? What's the secret to, to being happy? I don't know. I, I work harder because you guys are working so hard to make things safer, better. It's, it's difficult working in the department, so it's the least I can do. Well, I see. Wow. <laughs> Well, Chris Hopefully took the time to write it, but I think he speaks for all of us when he says how amazing you are yeah. and how grateful we are to have you. Yeah, absolutely. I think that's right. It's, it is, and it, it's not, we've been really fortunate in ED to have some really good members of staff, and we've lost some recently um, for, for various reasons. But we had the Be More Francis thing that came out, and we had Rowan, who unfortunately passed away, and that was devastating but I think you just have continued along that kind of really positive happy outlook and it, it's right I don't I don't think it's just Pete who feel like it like if you speak even through adults I think everyone knows that having you around just makes everything slightly better and easier mm -hmm. um, so yeah it's great it, it, and you, you genuinely deserve it and everything I wrote in there is how we feel like it's not it's oh, not just it's not just a Words on a page, like, and I know full well that there's there's no one who, if you showed that to, wouldn't wholeheartedly agree with everything that I wrote. Fantastic. Speak at a copy of the nomination, by the way, if 
Because I've punched, I haven't read the whole thing out, and it, it really is wonderful. And I mean, it, it, everything that's been described here embraces uh, uh, what 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 what, what um, uh, encompasses what what the, the core of it is. But I'm sure you'd like to read the the words because um, you clearly mean a lot to to your colleagues, and and reading um, reading that I think will help you understand just how special everyone thinks you are. Yes, that would be nice. Thank you. Bless you. <laughs> Well, it's clearly making you hugely uncomfortable now. And as I said, <laughs> as I said to start, you'll, you'll clearly never trust any of these colleagues again when they say they've got something arranged. But um, thank you, and we will we'll let get let you get back to your day. Yeah,